Okay. <clears throat> Hi guys, hope this is all working. As my normal intro, I need to just make sure this is up. What I really need to do is kind of, you know, do what other YouTube, uh, YouTubers, as streamers do. Get like a little countdown clock thing going on. Um, might make things a bit easier. So I can do the whole, all the setup process. And yeah, we indeed are live. Fantastic. All right, hi guys. A little bit earlier than normal. Um, I'm, I've got to do a couple of runs before the school. Uh, I've got a couple of shops to go to before the school run. Of course, you're watching this back later on um, YouTube. That means nothing to you. <laughs> but, but yeah, right. So, um, as if you've been watching the previous streams, you know currently we're in the process of uh, doing. Um, every faction gets um, gets a uh, video, and this is Lancer's turn. Uh, this deck was sent to me by uh, Dean, who you, I, you have seen me play against on the stream before. He's a fellow Cornishman, and I was there struggling. Like, I didn't really want to play Lancer, you know, not in a great place, blah, blah, blah. And he said, well, try this. Uh, this is Lancer, True Kings of the North. So it's Lancer Rose. Where you are, um, I've mean, had a quick look at this, but you know, you look, you're basically looking to play all the king tech. So you have both crowns, you have King Joffrey, and I believe King Tommen is there somewhere. There he is. So you basically you've got six king cards, some king tech like Brienne's pretty good with kings, I hear. Um, some fairly good um, Tyrell cards, especially with like Jamie Lannister. It doesn't nil. Shay, who doesn't nil, or can stand even, I should say, does nil. And then, yeah, and you can do an extra, extra intrigue, which obviously helps Shay with this. You've got small counter chambers to win more power. And then, you know, you go King Commands, and you can uh, just kind of slow the game down, blah, blah, blah. You, go, you kind of get, you know, you've probably seen this with similar, similar tech before. Obviously, Withering Cold's very good with uh, non needing Jamie and Shay and Lord of Energy Ride. Yeah. It's, um,. I'm, I'm sure I've played a deck similar to this before. Like, I mean, <laughs> I said on the, on the stream previously, that would have been about uh, like eight months ago or so. But uh, the principle's still the same. And King Tech is still good, I hear. So we're going to jump straight into a game. I'm not expecting a massive turnout for today's stream because obviously it's Starlet going on at the moment and most of the European meta's there. But it is fine. I didn't see if it was running Renly. Uh, I can't, don't think it is. I'm gonna be honest, I can't quite remember. <laughs> One second. Let me just double check. Do we have Renly? Renly? Oh, I can't be running Renly. Not Renly, Randall yet. Yeah, Randall. Uh, are we running Randall? No, it doesn't look like we are. I said I didn't make the deck. So what are the what are, what are the rose cards we've got? We've got left. We've got right. Two copies of each. We've got one High Garden Courtier. We've got three copies of Brianna Tarth. Uh, we've got the Crown of Golden Roses. And three copies of Lord Renly's Ride. Is that, is that 12 cards? One, four, three, two, two. Must be one other. Oh, yeah, yeah that's 12 cards. Yeah, no, no Stanley Randy. I'm gonna watch your stream of the one that's right now too. Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right, let's see what we've got here. Baratheon Dragon. Interesting. Or oh, maybe not. Right. 
so we could just go with uh, we could just go with Tywin reducer and then put a bodyguard on him. Um, I don't like anything two cards out, but I don't think that's a bad option. He's taking the mulligan. We've also got milk, which is quite good, especially as Bob comes out with Mel. And obviously, um, what's it? Uh, so Tywin's one of the characters we probably want to get the crown on if we can. Oh, okay, two card setup on two card setup. <laughs> you didn't see that every day. We're just gonna draw some cards. I hear drawing cards is good. I'm actually kind of okay with this because we've actually got the economy advantage here. Because obviously we've still got we get two extra gold from from Tywin anyway, and then we've got the Landsport Merchant, so we've actually got one more one more gold, and we can be a king straight away. So I think the plan here is he going first? He is. So let's see what he does. But I think the plan is bodyguard and one of the king upgrades on Tywin, and then get Brianna Tarf out, and then see where we are from there. We may want to put another the other reducer out just for some claim soak. I'm trying to remember what he does. Why are, you why are you attacking? If the defending player controls cards and shadows, we have none. Raise claim of a real plot by one. Okay, that's fine. So, so you got the dragon element to this. Sorry, guys, I'm, my, I'm finishing my soup while I do this. Ah, milk. Okay, that's, that's annoying. Um, now I'm slightly more annoyed. Let's put a card into shadows. I still think that I still think we go for the place. He's got no gold, so still we do. Are we playing confiscation? We are. That's fine then. So one less gold. Does that bugger us? It does and it doesn't. We can't put the bodyguard and the king out now. So let's do the reducer dance. I don't think he'd I don't think he'd battle next turn anyway, so I think we're probably safe to do this. So I apologize if these uh, me eating my soup is getting picked up with the mic there. No challenges. Interesting. Right, if we did a military, if we did a power, we can do power for 12. He can defend for less. That was reduce, that was stop him getting any card draw. Um I think that's probably the option here. He can do it for he can do one for eleven, we can do one for twelve. Do I actually really care that much at this stage? I don't think I do actually. That's what he does. Let's do a military and see how much he wants to keep these guys alive. Because the problem is we're going for weak power. He just defends with um, Penrose and then stands. This way he wants to... Oh, he has not defended the challenge. Interesting. the dupe so that makes me feel better because I was still vaguely worried there might be a Valor coming but by taking the dupe off that shows that he won't be Valoring because well it'd be silly um, <laughs> basically 
And we get rid of the Bastard of, of Night Song. That's that's not a bad uh, bit of claim. So we're going to go confiscation, and then then we start looking to go into like the the King of the North and the Withering Cold and all that. So let's them go first because if he gets another milk, we can always choose not to. Oh, okay, of course, dumbass. <laughs> Why do I look at So, juicer. And he's getting another milk. Never mind, it's fine. Um, That one and milk. Oh. I can have an iron bank. Oh well, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> he only gets free gold. If you really want to spend a gold milk remilking Tywin, then it's not unsure. Reduce a chain. We reduce a conga line. What reset are we running? Valor. Okay. We could potentially win the win the game with that. I'm still going to bodyguard him up. The lack of economy is really annoying. So she, she love got Shay, love Shay, really good for uh, obviously just do, just defending some challenges with and just generally being annoying. So I'm quite happy for, if he does a military, I'm quite happy for the military because you have to really overcommit. We can defend with Brienne, and if even if he wins, and you have to overcommit to win, we just gain a power thanks to uh, the Boy King. So yeah, I did figure that. We're probably not going to see many challenges. Oh, sorry about that. Um, so I think we do an intrigue. But love to see some economy. I'm assuming, I'm assuming we're running some. Iron Bank will have its due, eh? I'm assuming that's to get a card out of shadows. Yep, here comes Aegon. Um, as an attacker, that's fine then, because... He can fully defend this if he wants to. I remember that Shay is barely played from the beginning of her release. Yes, she was. That is true. And uh, low RK. So that tells me he must have some pretty good cards in hand if he's going all out to defend like that. All right, now what can he defend? So he can defend for 10 on the power. So let's stand Shay and then do a power challenge for to make sure it is definitely 10. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's do a power challenge with both of them. 
I would say I'm going to apologise again for my very snottiness. Just watching Starlight Comedy uh, has someone hasn't read the strict list. Ah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it is. I, I really like that they've done like a, a more restrictive restricted list, but at the same time, it, I could, I was thinking it's going to catch someone out at some point because you know it's not the standard restricted list. Cool. We're done. They're going to win Dom, but we stopped card draw there. We've got to discard a card. Um, normally, I would discard the crown, but I think we're going to have to discard the small council chamber just because I'm going to play King of the North next turn. And... Um, we just want a, a backup crown, just be on the safe side. Sugar and flea bottom. Everyone felt awful for calling the judge. Yeah, I know you do feel awful, but it, I mean, you know, the rules are the rules. You win or you die on turn three. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, and now we've got some. Now we've got a save. We've got a save for Brienne. So unless, it, unless they're running, um, unless they're running, what's it? She is early. No, she's not early. Uh, unless they're running, um, Valor de Harris rather than Valor de uh, then we'll probably be okay. Five gold, not enough to get out the um, what's his chops? The guy who's bounced back to hand, uh, Dario. Didn't you do exactly that plot in the Free Folk stream? What, King of the North? Did I? Oh, you win or you die. Yes, yes. But uh, the difference in the Free Folk is your... If you clear their board, it doesn't matter so, so much. Um, this is a weird... Because cl they're clearly trying to, get a, trying to have a hand. You know, this is a big draw engine. So I think it's a bit weird that he's that they're running... Uh, they're playing this turn three. Because this, this is normally a closer. Um, and we you know he's on one power. Uh, they, they they can't physically close this turn. What I'm just saying is I think you wanted to hold that off. That's that's more what I mean. But you are right. I, I did play in the free for extreme. I bet I play this card in a lot of decks. I think it's a really good card. So we got a guard put into shadows. A hired assassin. Okay. Sure. I have no shadows text, so it's not really an issue. Um, I think we just sit on, what's my reserve, six? I've got seven cards at the moment. So we're going to bounce the hound out, we're going to put the hound out, so we can bounce him back to hand if we want to, and we can eventually potentially play him again, or we've got gold for Shea. Either way, we're kind of happy. <laughs> it's gonna get to 15 yeah true <laughs> famous last words yeah that makes sense I, I was just testing your uh, choice of oh no no it's fine teasing my choice away that's fine I mean I, I I I'm more than I never say I'm the best player in the game I'm fully aware that I'm definitely not the best player in the game so um, you know I just it's just not a combination of cards I would have played. Uh, that's kind of annoying because we finally got screen test. We just need to see some economy. The lack of economy is killing us. So I'm not going to stand here yet because obviously we still might want to replay the hound, especially now our hands we're now going to be below reserve. We can get the hound back to hand and not um, not have to discard a card. What else have we got here? So we could do counting coppers next, but we have no much money. So power for nine. So we defend for is it definitely nine? To touch until nine, yeah. So we defend for eleven. I don't think there'd be any shenanigans. Uh, nope, we're just going to hand back to hand, and now we have options. 
I think this is pretty much in the bag at this point. You have Tyrone. Uh, Tyrone's milked, unfortunately. He's had two milks because so, we played Confiscation and then on the same plot he played... Um, he played, uh, what was it, um, exchange of information, and the only attachment I could give him was another milk. <laughs> so, <laughs> kind of annoying. Let's see if he's going to give us a free power here. Indeed he is. They are, I should say. Getting really bad at that. We do a power challenge to Brienne. We'll stand, Shay. Do an entry challenge to Shay. Stand Shay just to make sure we win Dom, which I think we're winning anyway, but just, just for shenanigan reasons, we win Dom. We're on 14 power. A 12 power, sorry, I don't know 14 from. Uh, Phil's man milk. <laughs> now, the interesting choice here if he went to Valor de Harris, I think we'd actually uh, we'd kill, we'd let Tyron disappear. His entire hand is discarded. There was a bob in there as well. I think we put, it was the right turn, I think, to play King of the North there, because stopping him from getting in, using any of his econ, I think, really hurt. Uh, how many times can you trigger that? Oh, I have to kneel it, so it's only once. Okay, so doing that would not be a good idea. Uh, I think we should go Withering Cold. We'll let them go first. So you can have an Assassin, so don't run any of those. You can have... Spears and the Merlin King something to make a difference. That's kind of annoying, and that's kind of annoying. I need to remember what that one does. Banish from the lights. After doing a power challenge, choose a character, place it into shadows with a token on it. When the card is in shadows, it gains shadows. Uh, print across uh, X. Okay. Considering how few cards he ended last turn with, that's actually he's actually doing pretty pretty well here. Uh <laughs> the Andy Sophie Peter here. Yeah, that's fair. I didn't actually look at his name in all fairness. But he jobs off your Tywin. Uh, Bob's off your Tywin. It probably is he. I'll, I'll trade to the crowd. So trade to count on Brienne. That makes complete sense because, you know, she's the one doing all the work here. Can he get anything else out? I think we probably milk Penrose just to stop the stand effects. Unless he gets another big character, which I don't think he can. And we've won, we've, we're potentially going to win this game having drawn no location Egon. How crazy is that? <laughs> uh, well, we've got five gold, could have more, so let's, let's put that out. I think we do the same as last time. And let's, uh, let's put him out, and then we've got five gold, and we can bounce the, we can bounce the, uh, the hound in if we need to to stop our power challenge. I'm trying to remember what... What was that card? Vanish on the light is sh shadows too, so he could he does have the gold for it. But we have enough characters, I think, that we can defend. So nine, he'd have to get nine, ten, eleven, sorry, nine, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, sixteen. So he'd have to power challenge for more than sixteen because it's just winner power challenge, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay. I think I think we'd be okay. He's got the event shadows. Yeah, I figured. Uh, yeah, oh, thank you. I, fi I figured he pr probably did, but um, I don't think they can win a power challenge by enough. So what, he can go three, six, ten. No, they can't. We can defend the power challenge with the hound, and then we still got gold to stand Shay, and I think that'd be GG at that point.
So entry challenge for free. So we're not going to mess around here. Let's get the hound out of hand. We're going to let that go unopposed because I think we, I think the game is over this turn anyway. And I want to power on his house card just so I can try and win. Uh, it will speed up, speed up the win condition. We lose copy of right, but oh left, sorry. Yeah. I think Banco have his due. Ooh, that's tricksy. I did not see that coming. Oh, I should have seen that coming. We've, we've already seen one Iron Bank. Okay, that changes things a little bit here. That definitely does change things a little bit here. She's annoying, as annoying as hell. This is oh, this is one of the cards that annoys me because she has no effects coming out of. Um, it's a power for ten. We go in for six, seven, eight, nine, ten, the yep, six, eight. We're just gonna do these two. And he can do what he wants to do. If he wants to bounce, because uh, this way she, it stop, we stop the unopposed. And if he wants to bounce, he wants to bounce a card into shadows, he's more than welcome to. I imagine it'd be Brienne. Now here's where I'm not sure. <coughs> Sorry, I'm not sure in the ruling what happens to the power on her. This is something I I have thought about. Sure, you can. You win eight eight to two. Sure. Can't be saved, I believe. Yeah, I don't think we saved. Whether the power stays, like you know, when a character swaps sides, obviously the power goes with them. Uh, he's gonna do a Tywin. Interesting. Tywin's only got one power on him. I guess it's the most expensive card. I'm going to struggle to get them out again. I guess that does kind of make sense. So, I think we stand Shay. We can do a power challenge for eight. He can defend for less than eight. So that stops the draw and gets claim. And if we did a military, I think we'll just get done at that point. Can't see the ca I, can't, I can't see the character. Well, we had a bodyguard that wasn't able to be saved, so it's fine. At the end of the day, we have another king out now. Um, do we just go counting coppers trying to see some heat gone? <laughs> Trade routes. Oh my god, econ! <laughs> what the hell is this? One econ card. How many cards have we seen? We've seen we've only got one econ card. Hard assassin. Ah, kills Tywin. Nice. That's actually quite a nice combo. Hadn't thought about that. You force them to go into shadows and then you kill the character. But sure, I say it's not really making a difference to us. I 
Uh, Plaza Pride, mm, sure. I think the play is we put out the put out that put out Boy King again, and then for free effectively, and then milk Penrose stuff him from standing. Hide into shadows. <laughs> So that just stops him from being able to do two challenges. With the board saying knelt out, that's a is that's a pretty pretty critical thing at the moment. Y yeah, I imagine I imagine he's I imagine that's uh, the uh, yeah. Is he discarded? How did he end up leaving? How do you leave? Oh, Iron Bank. Yes, of course. Um, we're just going to let that go in a post. Unless that's another thing from the shadows, which would be quite annoying if it is, but yeah. Now she would slow us down because she has full power on her. Intrigue for one. I'm going to let that go unopposed. Here's where it's, that's like poison tooth, whatever is the poison coin. I get annoyed. We'll lose a Jamie. We have a lot of good characters in hand. We're going to lose one. So we're not going to do, we can't do power, unfortunately, because uh, Plaza of Pride, I imagine he would just stand um, Sir Penrose. So what we're going to do is we're going to do an Intrigue. Again, if he wants to bring Aegon out, I'm okay with that. Pass prior to stand the knight. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. So we're going to get the last card from hand. And the unopposed power, of course. Which is, yep, yeah, um, a new card. Proof his position. Quite like that card. We're going to try the military because we might as well. So we win this challenge, that's two more power, getting us up to 13. And it, well, it depends who he kills. Obviously, he could take the, the dupe off of Penrose, and then it wouldn't be any power. Uh, but he doesn't. He gets to draw two cards. So the play next turn is put out Queen Cersei. And just intrigue him to death because there is a severe lack of intrigue icons on the, on the board. So for that, we're going to play your king commands it. His reset is. Oh, I've got a king in the north, which he currently <laughs> actually helps me. <laughs> um, yeah, that actually helps me. I hope he's got king beyond the wall. Um, oh, he's in trouble. I should know the cards is reset. He didn't want to. He really didn't want to reset. That's Lord or Lady, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So he won't be any good. Six gold, can't trigger anything. Oh, yes, you can. Now. It does have a king. Okay. 
that does make more sense. But that does cost him all his gold, although obviously you have got his dies ability. We've still got a milk in hand, so I know what that milk's going on. <laughs> oh, unless this is a bob. Uh, it looks like this could be a bob, because that's quite a lot of uh, nelt stuff here. Maybe the bob's about to get milked instead. Oh no, okay, it's the knight. So, I uh, just realised as well, this card is currently string 6, which is pretty good. Do we just drop this on Shay as a surprise? Oh, Shay's now strength eight. <laughs> Get around this. Yep, no, uh, yep, no egg on for him because yep, he's he's lost the economy to bring him out of shadows unless he's got um, an iron bank, which would be a bit of a waste to put out this five cost character. Oh, it would be a complete waste, I guess, put out a five cost character. <laughs> um, we've got quite a few ways to win this. I'm struggling to see. I guess the Bastard of God Grace comes in for a power challenge. And that would be two power, which would be quite annoying. Because uh, he's not gaining power. And that's probably going to have to go and oppose, actually. So let's put those two into a power challenge. So this is power challenge for nine. Okay, we are going to defend with both of these. So Shay's just because of Shay's ability. Uh, not Shay's ability, so Shireen's ability. Just to stop the unopposed. Bren can't defend, unfortunately, because she's uh, traitor to the crown at the moment. Otherwise, that would be the play. So we're down to twelve. Uh, we're down to eleven. He's up to uh, he's up to eight. I don't think I need to do I need to stand Shay? I probably should stand Shay, but I don't think I need to stand Shay because obviously um because um, obviously we're just gonna put the we're gonna put Lord Randy's ride on, on Cersei. Or are we? Entry challenge, interesting. And I stop the unopposed with Shay. Yeah, but yeah, it's, it is it is fine. It is what it is. Again, it's a pretty good hand. That's probably the worst card in hand, so that's probably that's probably really good for us. The argument I probably should have bodyguarded um, Cersei here, but I'm hoping to win before that becomes an issue. Because we now get one. One power from the intrigue. Um, if he wants to discard a card to stand Penrose or a character, I'm more than happy for that because that's another trigger. So we're going to do intrigue for Gabillion. Well, 12. <laughs> Come on, discard a card. Give us a power. And then military, and that'd be game, I believe. Because basically, they either have to let us go unopposed, and we'll get the unopposed power. And again, he could choose to kill a character who is not cost free. But that. 114. Yep, he's going to do it. Good game. 
And there we go. That worked out pretty well. Okay. Um. Right, there we go. So, that worked pretty well. Oh, the number of games has jumped up. Must be lunch. Must be people on their lunch breaks. Hi right, guys, for just joining, welcome to the stream. We're playing Lannister Rose, uh, True Kings of the North. That guided was guided was watching the stream. Say, so he knows what we're using. I was watching the game just there, so he knows what we're using. Interesting to see what this. What we got? Oh, okay. Tyrell Shadows. Oh my god, guys. Econ. <laughs> Econ from the start. <laughs> Let's keep it. <sighs> so that, that last game was crazy. I mean, I know we did have Econ because we, we had the reducers. But it's crazy to go there that, that length of time, draw that many cards, only have two. Um, only have one. One location. Cheats. Um, it's, yeah. It is what it is. Yeah, no cards and shadows. Brienne on Brienne. Uh, what we got in here? Another. Oh, okay. So milk, nice bodyguard. No king attachment yet. That's fine. We'll do a normal opener, which I'm sure we'll get. Because every time we go in here, we'll hit summer harvest. Because that just seems to be the way these things go. Oh, okay. Let's let Glider go first. More Econ, which is good. So, yeah, Econ should not be an issue this game. Just lacking the, just lacking a king at the moment. I get a king and I'm happy. Let's see. They've got... Nine gold because of the agenda. <laughs> Depending what happens here, we may look to get land support down and start attacking the hands, especially if we've got Shay. Um, obviously, Shay is kind of free um, shenanigans in that respect. Card and Shadows. Um, I'm not massive. Ooh, okay, that that changes things. Right. So sorry, sorry for my constant snottiness. I am yeah, <laughs> really not feeling that way. Great. Um. Oh, I'm not 100% sure what to do here now. Um, do we go... So we've got 9 gold, effectively. We could go Pycelle and Bodyguard on Brienne. Or we could Milk her. I kind of want to keep the Milk, because I think Brienne might be a better choice for Milk, or there might be better choices later. This because there's currently no Lords. Um... Kind of, if we're gonna do that play, we kind of want to need some gold. Well, that wouldn't leave us any gold. So let's go. Done. So we can soak a military by taking a, a dupe off of Shea because we don't need all we don't need all three uh, all three copies of her in, in play. Tyrion obviously funds her, which helps. Would have liked Pycelle for the card draw, but you know, I mean, we are running card draw cards. Uh, but watch out for obviously for this, this plus one strength could be quite useful, especially in like a military off. Uh, of course, we are potentially going to get some card draw by losing challenges. Uh, 
Uh, no challenges. Okay. So. I think. Do I want. I really want to take a card out of hand, don't I? Let's do a military. Let, let his brain get buffed and draw a card. Right now, I wouldn't mind drawing some cards. And I'm assuming we're going to get it. Yep, that's good. There's the buff. That's what I wanted. And it gives them a power. But right now, I'm all about the card draw. Let's go power challenge. Pushing the intrigue first there. Strength one, that's fine. And let's do an intrigue. Stealthing her, Tyrion. We're going to lose Dom anyway, but I'm going to stand shade just to be on the safe side. And we get a Jagannagar. I'm not disappointed to see that card taken for claim, if I'm honest. Queen of Thorns, okay, so good to know. Queen of Thorns in hand, because she's pretty can be pretty nasty in this format. We're not running nightmares, so there's less we have less kind of um, counter plays as she comes into play. So, sorry about that. Um, yeah, so we, we have less counters because we, we can't just go, well that's fine, we'll uh, You know, you know, I mean, um, right. I don't know what short to play now. Okay. I think the withering cold might be a good, um, good play here. Good money. We got Shay who can keep standing. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay. Especially, yeah, especially Jiggins in shadows. Yeah, him mid, him coming in mid challenge. That can be pretty. That can be pretty lethal. I think what this deck probably needs is um, a, an exchange of information. Just trying to dig for those those king attachments a bit easier, or maybe building orders. But exchange information goes. You're not running many. You know you're probably going to get a fairly good location that you need. If you do that, so you're probably going to get. It's a good chance of getting an, an attachment, and whether it's a milk, a bodyguard, or a crown, you don't really mind. Um, and then obviously card draw, and and both the only two events you run are pretty good. Reduce to Congo. The only issue here, and it's not really the only issue, but I think the only issue I can see is we're lacking a little bit of claim soak. Yeah, we figured she was coming. Another card in shadows, probably a good card, I would imagine. We could do a treachery right about now. So effects, we've got seven gold. So let's do that. Do that and that. Let's go with a bodyguard on Brienne. So have any potential shenanigans. I think we put Pi Cell out. We sit on, sit on one gold.
So if he wants to win the injury, is it just... Oh, it's so any, any challenge, okay. So if he wants to win the challenge of her, though, he has to put someone else in. And risk us having a treachery. Going for the intrigue. Fine by me. Uh, Shay's limit twice per phase. Per phase, though, that's the important thing. So in dominance, we can stand her again. So Shay's been stealthed. I'm trying to think potentially what strength buffs he could have. If he's got a growing strong, then we lose. But I think we have to risk it. Oh, okay. Um... That probably gives away that we don't, yeah, it probably gives away we don't have treachery in hand at the moment. Um, because obviously if we had treachery, we'd let, we'd just chub block that. Okay, so challenges are over. So we're going to do Intrigue with Shay. Trigger Tyrion. He can defend this with Marge if he want, really wants to, but we'll then do a second Intrigue, obviously. Not defend the challenge, okay. And we get that's not a bad card. And Stan Shay. Do an intrigue. Wish I had some dead character right now so I could Stan Shay. I'm not gonna do the power. Because I'm just going to take Dom. And obviously, Brienne's got Renown. Um, is Counting Coppers the right play? I think Counting Coppers is the right play here. We need to find that crown. Okay, let Guide go first. Still no crown. Of course, he's now just got the money to do whatever he wants uh, with um, with these cards and shadows. Doesn't matter what they are. I think we're just going to have a setup turn. So I think the play this time, put the dupe on Brienne. And I think the play is, I think potentially play. Oh, okay, that's what I was worried about. So now Brienne doesn't defend, doesn't kneel. That's came, he came out of shadows, didn't he? Yes, he did. Really see a, really need to see the king now. Getting roasted by your own deck. Uh, okay. Two gold. Don't think there's anything really worth. Well, nothing in his. Well, the last card is two gold, and currently we have no strength buffs. So we'll just get done. Yeah, it's gone. Saying he's very new to the agenda.
So I actually, I still actually haven't used the new agenda yet. I'm, I'm going to be honest, I don't find it particularly exciting. Yeah. I, I, I think this is quite a dull, dull, dull agenda. Uh, it's one, one of these is I actually had recently. I'm not, I've not been that... Not, um, cohort, trading on the cohort is a really fun agenda. Um, but a lot of the new agendas, I don't think have been particularly fun. Scheming Septon, sure. We're going to do an Intrigue. We're going to trigger Tyrion. Do I even bother? Probably not. How are the unopposed? <laughs> the only cheap card in hand, but it's fine. It is what it is. Getting rid of Acer, brother. Oh, this isn't my deck though, because I, I didn't run shadow. I, I didn't run assault from the shadows. I said not. Okay, finish the challenges. So the issue we got here is we do an intrigue. We're just literally running in. We're just literally. Oh, I guess we've got to do it, haven't we? We get to do two. Come on, let's do it. So we're going to switch a decent ambush guard here to make most of all this money we're going to make of Tyrion. I can't see a way he can stand, Renly. So that's fine. Stand Shay. Uh, scheme Septon. Okay. I would Valor, but. Actually, might, be, might not be the worst choice right now. I mean, I, ideally, I'd like to wait until I've got a king on the board so he dies. Yeah, oh, I see what you're saying, because the, the deck's betrayed me, so I've gone through so many... I've gone for almost half my deck, and I've not seen any of my six king cards. Yeah, yeah, I, I get that. I guess that's <laughs> fair. We could win a power challenge here, but then we'd lose Dom... Is that worth it? And if he's got any shenanigans, we'd just lose the challenge. Um, so I think we just go done. So Valor right now, we lose Pycelle. He would lose Scheming Septon, Shadows, thing, lose Briet, I think. And that would leave us, but that would leave us with three, four, five, six gold so we could get a Duke Jamie out. That doesn't seem horrendous, actually. I think it's got to be. It's going to be gutted, I Valor, and then I draw a crown, and then obviously Redley would have died as well. Oh, sorry guys, again, it's not. Yeah, I think I might have made the right choice. He's going to be left in Marge and Renly. And I said, I just lose Pycelle. And I can get Duke Jamie out of this as well. This does not seem like a bad move. Bodyguard and Bodyguard. That's a, two good characters gone. And yeah, we've actually a pretty good draw up actually. Yeah, the flu too. Uh, man flu is the worst, isn't it? <laughs> that's not the worst. Um, that's not the worst here. Now, 
Unfortunately, I'd really want to do the... Oh, no, no, this does work, actually. So, got it. We do an Intrigue with Tyrion. We then do Military with um, Sir Jamie. <laughs> it's a bitch. <laughs> it is. Man flu's a bitch. We do, an, we do a Military with Jamie, putting in uh, Lord Renly's Ride. Now, it's not going to be great, because obviously he does have all the strength buffs um, because of the agenda. Oh, the plot, sorry. So the good, there's a good chance here. We just, yeah, I'm not sure that's the best option actually, but we, you know, we, we'll see, we'll see. I guess we could put like both of them in. He might not defend that much because obviously, it might be that whole. Oh, what's the point defending? It's, uh, you know, I've got a lot of cards going to the shadows. It could be what's the point defending? There's no claim. Let's hope that's what he. That's that's hope. That's what he goes. That's the hope. What he thinks. Uh, what's this one? After card your control comes out, shadow the top three cards of your deck, put one in your hand, place one on the bottom of your deck, and place one on top of your deck. That's nasty with um, Old Town. Oh, triggers off itself as well. Nice. Nice. Only two, uh, only two gold left, though, so I'm not sure how many shenanigans there can be here. But we're going to do what I said, so we're going to do an Intrigue. We're going to Stealth Ren uh, We're going to Stealth Renly. And get ourselves a nice two gold. No claim. Why? Don't, don't block it. There's no claim. Why would you block it? There's no claim. Ah, uh, yes, exactly. Yeah, there's no point blocking it. See? He's, this guy's right. There's no point blocking it. <laughs> so we can keep this up. We're going to do military. Both of these two. Yeah, don't want to block it. It's only ten. Don't, don't block it. You don't need to block this. It's fine. It's fine. You'll be fine. Just, I'm just doing it for the renown. That's all I'm doing it for. Don't worry. <laughs> who plays? Who plays shadows? Uh, each. Who plays shadows each nowadays? Well, does not defend the challenge. Brilliant. Lord Renly's ride. Oh yeah. No claim. Intimidate. And then we're going to do Intrigue. Tyrion Trigger. Might as, well might as well defend this now, because you're getting no either way. Unless there's shenanigans from here. All of a sudden... We've got a bit of a got quite a lead on the uh, on the power front. So it's fine. We win the challenge. There's no claim. No. Oh no, we don't. He wins the challenge. That's fine. It did its job. It slowed him down. And then next turn, we hope he doesn't play king of the north and get the mountain out and have some fun. Who doesn't love the mountain? And yeah, I think that went well. Obviously, that could be about a uh, scheming Septon. No, that's fine. Sure. We're going to win Dom. Do the power. Don't do the intrigue. Re I, re I have not used the mountain for a long time. I really want to use the mountain. <laughs> Saying that, I'm probably going to be using the mountain quite a bit when the grey jewelry box comes out because you'll find a crown anyway. I hope so. I better do. Or Tommen. I'll take Tommen. Power challenge. Cool. Okay. We'll defend. And then we'll just stand her. Uh, Guarantee we win Dom. So, uh, Guided goes up to 6 power. We, we go up to 10 power in a minute. Uh, 
reserve a six. Okay, let's go get rid of card. Can't play confiscation. Don't want to play that. I guess we've got to play this. And I hope he doesn't play king of the north. He might not be king. I've noticed king tech has disappeared off a little bit. I think because his dial's everywhere. Oh, okay, that's fine. Let's copy and county copies, I'm assuming. King of the North into first snow hurts. Yeah, King of the North into first snow would hurt. That is fair. I think we're doing all right. So counting coppers from putting the strings, what we figured it would be. It's fine. We've, in all fairness, we've not needed the um, <laughs> we've not really needed the king tech. What's this, boys? Strength 10 beat stick. <laughs> and of course, now we do have our win condition of um, trying to. Winter is coming. <laughs> well, a big, angry, like seven foot monster is coming for sure. The um the crazy thing is, uh, they've got that new so one of the decks I'm going to be using once the Greyjoy box come out. I'm going to try Lannister Kraken with um, Pillage Tyrion, a uh, Tyrion sorry, because one of the crazy things is that comp if you use the Mountain with um, with that new ship where you discard three cards when you discard one from Pillage, you get to trigger him and all three of them. That's crazy. You could literally wipe a board, especially Tywin picking the cards a bit, you know, giving you some access to more cards. You could you could really wreck a board state with just one character. Or one challenger. Left and right are seven foot tall, the mountain's more Okay, fine. Fine, nine foot tall. <laughs> the act two plays him is like seven foot tall, which is the main thing I was going with. But I guess we have no left and right in uh give no left and right. All right. Uh, in the TV show. Um, don't think we beat around the bush here, do we? Military for 10. He can defend for 1. The 6. 13. Unless I've missed anything. Potentially could use Brienne. Let's just do that. If he To win this, they have to massively overcommit if they've got anything. Feel so mad. <laughs> it's one of the disappointing things. Having obviously, I got into the card game from the TV show, and now I've got into the books afterwards. There's so much stuff they could have done. They say a couple more seasons. They really could have eked out a lot of more storylines. I mean, it's, it's, I just feel sad. There's the the lack of the Martell storyline is just really depressing. I'm just kidding. This is just characters, Khan, isn't it? Yeah, characters can't get better. So I'm still getting power on this. Come on, mountain, mountain lottery. Ooh. Yeah, all the characters back on the book are amazing. I've spent a few night shifts at work uh, on on uh, Song of Ice and Fire Wikipedia, really going to sort of more the more of the background. Uh, one of the books I'm asking for Christmas is the like, extended histories book. So you know you got like the Blackfire Rebellion, the um, Andal Invasion, the First Men, that type of stuff. Um, but yeah, there's just so many more characters, you know. I mean, you read the card, you get, you play the card game. It would defend for eleven. So if maybe he was worried about a put, or has he got growing strong here? Ah, oh, nice, nice. Um, so he's gonna win this challenge. Crown of Golden Roses, out of shadows. Nice, like it. I'm not even angry. <laughs> I'm impressed. 
audibles, anything gets me through my shifts. Yes, I fortunately I did try that, but I with my work I need to be able to keep my ears open. God, the second game of Robo, we're halfway through a deck. We've still not seen a single treachery. Run three of each, and a treachery right now would be a, would be just would be pretty good here. So it needs to nail that to win the challenge. Fair play. Fair play. This has though opened us up to be able to do to get two power on here. So do an intrigue. Stealth her. Two in trigger. Bink. Ah, oh, was it how to get a power? Of course, he's a king now. Your deck is treacherous. <laughs> Quite. So I think now we put Jamie and Shay into an intrigue. Um, Trigotarian, Stan Shay, get another power on here. Putting us on to 12, unless he wants to let us go on a page, which might go into 13. Does not defend the challenge. Interesting. I think he's more worried about the um, about the power challenge here. Queen of Thorns, she's already dead. So unless he's running... Um, so I think we go all in on the power. Make him overcommit, because... Commit to this. And then we just stand Shea again. Is that on defence as well? Oh, it is on defence. Nice. Land some more, need more draw, not filter. Yeah, I, mean, I love their new location, but it's disappointing you have to discard the card first. Um, I If you could... If you could discard the card afterwards, um, I think it would be a lot better. Uh, you know, if you could draw a card and discard a card. I know it's still filter, but at least then you you know exactly what you're at least know exactly what you're getting. So unless there's any shenanigans here, I can't see any. Yep, we've got to 14 power. Wherever their reset is, I think they have to play it now. Potentially it's Wildfire to make the most of uh, Tinder Marge. Yeah, that's true. Uh, they, they do have that. You don't want to copy. Oh, we can oh, we can do Confiscation now. So we're going to go first. Confiscation on the that. Um, don't think that's much of an issue. If you want to pay the Arbor now, you're more than welcome to. Don't we have that? And a handy J. Clearly my deck needs that. <laughs> yeah. You might have enough draw. Oh, so I guess the play here is just to put the Queen out. Oh, sorry. Thinking more of the confiscation. Uh, could have you? Oh, right. Yeah, that's fair. So, bump, bump, bump. Done. Okay. So, lots of ways to win the game now. Um, I personally think we're gonna go with the mountain lottery route. Oh, no. oh, okay, fair enough. That's fair. fair. Okay. GG. The players just win, right? <laughs> yeah, the players will. Well, yeah, we had. Uh, yeah, you too, man. So, the, the, I mean, we had the options. It was either Queen Cersei, Queen Cersei, uh, with some with stealth and other things, which I don't think he could um, defend. Um, it was a mountain and Jamie with Brienne, and then. 
probably a power challenge after that. I don't think there's much they could do. I said we only need one power. So once one of the if one of the entries got through, we won the game. If one of the entries got through, we won the game. So there was plenty of ways out there. But anyway, guys, I'm going to call it there because um, I'm sorry, as you can probably tell, I'm being a bit meh. I don't want to de make you guys even more deaf with my snot. And um, and also the Starlux stream's currently on. So if you are watching this live. Go to, if you want some more thrones, go onto YouTube. It's currently got the um, melee, and I believe I assume they'll be doing the joust tomorrow. Um, but thank you guys, very, thanks very much for coming on. Um, very much appreciate it for coming on, for watching even. I was on. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking straight, honestly. It'll be Martel something next week as the first one. Uh, if you just going to say, if you guys do support the channels, do check there is the Patreon, which is Night of the Black Quarter. Uh, I think you can sponsor me on here. I'm not 100% sure how that works because I'm not great with Twitch, if I'm really honest. Uh, and otherwise, guys, just carry on watching, and it has been emotional.